guys, Megan here from Fabulous TV Patia. This evening we are here at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant in front of the Holiday Inn Hotel. We are here for one of their famous wine tasting evenings. These take place every single month, always different wines from different countries around the world. This evening is an Australian versus Chilean wine tasting evening and the guests down here tonight will decide which wine is the best Chilean or Australian. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. And don't forget to come down here for the next month's event. It is perfect for you wine lovers out there. Cheers. Fabulous 103 FM with crew fun at Thai time. Good morning. Sabadika. How are you? I'm fine. Now, so what are we going to learn today in Thai time? Vegetable means pak. Just a second. Let's do this again. V. V. Vegetable. Vegetable. Not vegetable. <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> vegetable. I have vegetable. This, I have this problem with the V, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> vegetable. No, no, no. Yeah. I said vegetable. See, so you're standing up in a class going, today <laughs> oh, we learn about vegetable. No, 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 not like that. Mm. <laughs> Vegetables. Vegetable. Yes. What do we learn about that? <laughs> Just can't get over that. Vegetable. No, 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 no. I said vegetable. I think the word in Thai is vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> you like vegetable. <laughs> no, no, not that or bad. Salad. <laughs> salad or vegetable. <laughs> Oh, I get it all the time. How do we say vegetables in Thai? Come on. Pak. Pak. Yes, a lot easier than yours. Pak. Yes, of course pak. it is. Pak. Yeah, and you want to say pak sot. Sot means fresh. Pak sot. Yes. Sot. Sot. Like sod, but without the duh. Yes, sot. The duh is soft. Pak sot. Yes. Fresh vegetable. <laughs> yes. That's, and frozen vegetable will be pak frozen. Mai chai. Pak chai keng. Pak chair keng is frozen. Yes. yes. Chair keng. Chair keng. 
Pak is vegetable, Pak chair ken is frozen, and Pak sod is fresh. Yes. There we go. The vegetables today <laughs> from Crew Fon, who really can't stop laughing. And I can understand that. Kilroy hasn't been to Thailand, but it seems that others with graffiti in mind have. In Chiang Mai, authorities are reporting that caves open to the public have been daubed with names of visitors. Out near the Doi Sutep temple, the caves have been photographed and a warning given out that daubing graffiti or carving your name on a national treasure will see people arrested. In Trat, to the south of our province, an angry wife is being sought by local police. It seems that her husband caught her chatting with another man on her phone and threw it in the river. Both fishing boat workers, she was no stranger to a filleting knife and used it to stab him to death. Meanwhile, at home and in Patia, a Filipino in a group of pedestrians was killed in a road traffic accident. Reports tell us that she was the only one not to hear the horn of an approaching car. The others stepped back and she continued to cross the road in the Teprasit Road area. CCTV will be checked to find the cause. Medics found her dead at the scene. Boxer Nigel Benn is in town this Friday ahead of his Retox-sponsored appearances here. Saturday sees a white-collar boxing event where Nigel will make an appearance and, we're told, may also step into the ring. Tickets are selling fast and those remaining can be bought from any Retox or Nightwish outlet. It does promise to be a fabulous evening and a chance to meet one of the world's greatest boxers. The Royal British Legion poppy appeal is well underway in the region. Those who have yet to buy a poppy and wear it with pride only have to look at bars, cafes, restaurants and other businesses around the city to get one. The choices of car stickers through to badges make it more fun and at the same time shows your support for a worthy cause. It's Halloween today and whether in the city or the east side, there's no shortage of great venues to enjoy an evening of ghoulish behaviour. In Patia's Walking Street, we can expect it to be filled with less than attractive girls all out for blood. On Second Road, the venue for Halloween fun is Dicey Riley's, opposite the Avenue Shopping Centre. There we're promised the best of Halloween fun tonight. Meanwhile, on the dark side, the Maprachan Monsters will be out in force. The Loft Pub, the Loft Resort and the Mediterranean Garden Resort promise special events for children of any ages. And in addition to fun, there'll be prizes given away at all three venues too. A great party atmosphere. It's a chance for parents out there to enjoy a night out while their children dress to unimpress. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 35, dropping down to 30, that's the local and national news from Fabulous 103, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons. Leicester City's Premier League match at Cardiff on Saturday will go ahead following the death of the owner, Weechai Watanar Prapa. He and four others were killed in a helicopter crash outside the King Power Stadium on Saturday. More from our reporter, Rob Schofield. There'll be a minute's silence before the kick-off in Wales and players will wear black armbands as well. Imagine a difficult decision, but one that would have definitely gone through the players. They would have been consulted beforehand, so I imagine they see it as an opportunity to, to, to honour Vichai. We've seen how much he meant to those at the club, and the city really has come together, hasn't it, to mourn a man that gave so much back to the, the community. In regards to the postponed League Cup fourth round tie against Southampton, that was originally scheduled for tonight. A club statement says an announcement will be made in due course when that will be played. And in the one remaining League Cup match on Tuesday evening featuring a Premier League side, Bournemouth reached the fifth round with a 2-1 win over Norwich from the second tier of the English game. The former Real Madrid president Ramon Caldron says Jose Mourinho is the manager current president. Florentino Perez would ideally like to return to the Bernabeu to replace the sacked Junan Lobotegui if the Manchester United boss was available. 
Calderon says Mourinho isn't the only manager with Premier League experience likely to be in contention to succeed Lopetegui. I'd like uh, Roberto Martinez, but he has uh, an existing contract with uh, with the Belgian uh, team, and uh, and I, I cannot tell uh, maybe Pochettino, but also he's uh, uh, with Tottenham. So as I said before, no many coaches in the market. I know the president would like to bring again Mourinho. That is something incredible, but that would be the coach. That he will, he were free. He will be here. The Chelsea assistant coach Marco Iani has been fined over $7,500 by the Football Association for his celebration after the 96th minute equaliser in the two all draw against Manchester United earlier this month. And the Tottenham midfielder Deli Ali has signed a new contract with the club, keeping him there until 2024. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, Patty and Mail taking you on a road trip. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state of the art fitness equipment, air conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Jets buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now. From 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness. No excuses. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. Alright, Jeff Carter here, and have a guess where we are today? You'll never guess. We've come down the Succumbit Road, right, on our motorbikes, and then we turned off to the left, we've come about a mile, and um, we've ended up at this place, look at it. Wow, look at that. And I think it's called Laser Buddha, or Buddha Mountain. So come on, let's have a look. Let's go and have a look what's going on, because it looks great, and it's free to get in. Fantastic! It's a mountain, right? And in the mountain is proper gold. And what they've done, right? They put all this stuff together, built like a framework, and then unbelievable. Wait till you see this now. Are you ready? Count to three. One, two, three. How about this then? Wow! They actually make wine next door to here, so that's our next stop. But for now, just going to show you this because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. And it's all free to come in. You could even bring a picnic here or something. Get your cheese and onion butties out and your scotch eggs and your little sausages. Bottle of pop. Plonk yourself down here. Look at this. Idyllic. Absolutely fantastic. And you're in the presence of the big golden Buddha. Check that out. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, here we go. Your donation of kindness to Kao Chi Chan will help us to protect and develop this Buddhist place. So basically, it's um, you give a little contribution here, and uh, it helps to do all the gardening and keep everything tidy. So I'm going to give a nice donation of 100 baht towards the upkeep of this beautiful place. We've even just talked to some complete strangers, right? And even they said, it's so hot today, so we're going to go to Silver Lake now, which is next door apparently, and they make wine from grapes, but apparently it's non-alcoholic wine. They'll let you have a taste of it and show you how they make it, and they might have some alcoholic stuff to sell, so if it tastes nice, um, we might take a bottle back and then uh, share it one night on the balcony. How about that then? Nothing dodgy, if you know what I mean, just, <laughs> just a drink between friends. Part two of this episode of Patty and Mail.
tomorrow, right here on Fabulous Patia TV. Look at this lovely fountain. Mmm, delicious. Miles and miles and millions of grapes. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar with 50 TVs, including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you about a 30 to 40 minute drive out of Pattaya City. We are here today to check out a great place to bring the whole family for a day out, especially the kids. That is the Institute of Marine Science. Now, if you don't know where this place is, it is located directly next to the Burapar University. Inside there is so much to see all the marine life. There's also shows, feeding the fish, and there's lots for your kids to learn here too. It's a great day out and not far from Pattaya City. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. The Institute of Marine Science, near the beachside in Bangsan, close to Chombury. 
Admission fee is 220 baht for adults and 80 baht for children. The institute is divided into three sections. The Marine Science Museum, the Aquarium and a research laboratory. Live shows take place daily. Divers feed the giant marine life in the aquarium every day at 2.30 p.m. There's also many other interesting things to see, such as the skeletal remains of a whale which was washed up on the nearby Bangsan beach as well as hundreds of different kinds of beautiful marine life. The centre exists both for research purposes and as a place for students and visitors to learn about marine science. The Institute of Marine Science is open 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Tuesday until Sunday and makes a very pleasant day out for the whole family. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. The spookiest time of the year is just around the corner. All ghosts and ghouls are invited to the Benihana Halloween Night Party. A night of fun and scares offered with bloody sushi and haunted cocktails. Every ghost will be treated to a spooky cocktail upon entry. Join if you dare from 7 o'clock until midnight on Wednesday the 31st of October at the Benihana Patia on Beach Road. Every Tuesday night is Mediterranean night at the Bangsaray Beach Club. Feast on a Mediterranean buffet consisting of delicious pizza, pasta, salads, appetizers and more, priced at only 300 baht per person. And all that while you enjoy live music throughout the evening, overlooking the beautiful beachfront views of Bangsaray Bay. That starts from 6 o'clock onwards every Tuesday evening. A great brand new offer at the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's second road. Sit back, relax and take in the panoramic views over the city from the rooftop Sunset Lounge where their gin and jazz night every Friday and Saturday from 7 offers two hours of free-flow imported gin, cheese and cold cuts while listening to live jazz. Friday the 2nd of November is a date for your diary at Retox Game On. That's when you can meet and greet the WBO and WBC boxing champion Nigel Benn. With a limited amount of tickets, be sure to get yours early. The night will include a talk by Nigel, a Q&A session and an auction. Choose between the gold package, which includes an exclusive hour with Nigel, a steak supper and a signed photograph, or a silver package with seating in close proximity, a buffet and photo opportunities. Raffles and proceeds will be donated to the Hand to Hand Charity Foundation. 
Save the date in your diary, Friday the 2nd of November. Nigel Benn at Retox Game On on Soy Honey. Make your Saturday night special and fill your boots at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. There you can enjoy a Saturday night buffet with a wide selection of cuisines from different buffet stations. Tickle your taste buds with an array of regional Thai favourite dishes and desserts while enjoying live entertainment throughout the evening with traditional Thai dancing and live music. Every Saturday evening from 6 until 10, the price is only 599 baht plus plus per person and children under the age of 5 can eat free. That's at the Sala Rim Nam at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast, and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant, which is on Second Road, right next door to the Avani Hotel. A traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only $4.49, and that includes a free drink too. Over at the Sunset Lounge at the rooftop of the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's Second Road, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city, as well as a two-hour free flow of wine and tapas. Mention Fabulous 103 FM and receive a special deal of only 777 baht plus plus per person. That's available every evening between 7 and midnight. The Café G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes, along with live cooking stations and, of course, fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club, which, of course, is in Bangsaray. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion barges. The price is only 250 baht to set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patia's Beach Road. 